Wow, this is just, this is just unbelievable. Oh, hey everybody. Uh, oh, you guys aren't going to believe this. I was in my backyard digging a hole, trying to put some termite stuff in the ground. And I uncovered this old box that was just falling apart. And uh, I took it in the garage and opened it. And it had these parchment leaves in there. They were just about, you know, decomposed. The ink was fading. But I managed, it was very uh, time consuming, but I managed to translate the parts I could read and the parts that hadn't decomposed yet. It was written in Hebrew, which that took me longer, but unbelievable. I think what I've found is evidence of atheism and specifically anti Christian beliefs. In the second century CE. And uh, I couldn't believe it. So I thought. And, and they're written in the form of hymns. Like songs. And not only that. This is what really blew my mind. They had some notation above. Each word. And some little. You know. Designation of time. And notes and things. And, and I knew it was some kind of key. Because it was above every line. And so. Uh. I figured out eventually that it was actually music. So, oh, you're not going to believe this. So, I don't, you know, it's like different songs that they were singing back then against Christianity. Couldn't believe it. So I, th I thought, um, I thought I needed to share this with you because this is, I mean, you know, this is going to be find of the century right here. Anyway, um. I'll just, I was going to play the guitar, but you know, a bunch of bar chords, you know, my fingers don't really like those. Uh, so I'll just hum, uh, you know, the basic melody. And I think you'll, I think you'll get the gist of these. But uh, it was crazy. What, <clears throat> here's the first one. And it was just really unbelievable. Jesus got run over by a Mack truck. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. And right there, the ink fades. And I can't, I can't read anymore. Wow pretty amazing um here's another one uh and they just you know every page was like a new little song but they were crumpled and i could basically only get the first part um here's another one atheist atheists atheist rock they're really cool but christians are not thinking and learning and using their brains while the opposition goes insane oh atheists and then it fades right there and i couldn't i couldn't get any more of it I was I like that one. It was very catchy. But uh and and the word there for atheist um is not really I mean I translated it as atheist, but really the gist was like, you know, basically don't believe in God kind of thing. Um here's another one. And uh this just I mean you can imagine how how shocked I was when I uncovered this no telling how long it had been sitting there just in my backyard and how did it get there well anyway here's another one uh, this one's very interesting I think I think I translated the melody correctly I'm not sure try it anyway Jesus roasting on an open fire I think that's right blood is pouring from his nose Eulogies being sung by the fire As atheists show up in droves Every... I, that part was fading. Religion is a crock of dung Designed to frighten children so Now it's time to grow up and admit the fairy tales just have to go. You know, or something, and then it, then it fades. Gosh, I mean, I wish the, you know, I wish the bottom of these hadn't fa hadn't crumbled and faded. But wow, here's another one. I mean, this one's a little bit more lively. Uh, let's see. Here's how it goes. Nail a god onto some lumber. Fa la 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 la. Could it really get much dumber? Fa la 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 la. And then it fades. <sighs> oh, here's another one. It's kind of an, it's another one. Upbeat. And once I started singing these, I realized a little 
there was a connection. These melodies sounded very familiar. I don't know, but could be wrong, but I think what happened was the Christians copied the atheist songs and changed the words. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, here's another one. Um, and this one was pretty easy to translate. Melody was pretty simple. I think it goes like this. Yeah. Here comes Jesus Christ. Here comes Jesus Christ right down out of heaven. He's gonna burn the world with fire. His favorite number seven. Hear those trumpets. See those angels. Oh, what a frightening sight. So jump in bed. Cover up your head. Cause Jesus Christ comes tonight. And, and it fades right there. I don't know. But that this one was an example of of satire, you know, where they were actually singing something that they didn't believe, but, you know, to try and make fun of them, which, you know, pretty effective. Oh, here's one. This one's pretty cool. But this one's like against against uh, the Old Testament. It's not specifically against Christianity. So this is a little different twist. Uh, but I think I translated it right, but I could be wrong. But let's see. I'll give it a try anyway. <clears throat> Silent fight, holy fight. It's not wrong if God says it's right. Round up virgins, mother and child. Slay the rest and then stand there and smile. Chop them up into pieces. Chop them up into tiny pieces, no larger than four cubits, says the Lord. And then it fades after that. Pretty amazing. Now here's another song that was in there. Now this one had like almost all of it was there, but there was a like a verse or two chopped out. Um. This one was, was very interesting, and I, and I can't place the melody. goes like this. <clears throat> Maybe y'all can help me out. Jesus, the God-man, was a fairy tale, I say. He was brought to earth by a virgin birth on a cold December day. Then back to heaven, Jesus hurried on his way. But he waved goodbye, saying, don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump nailed him to a tree. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump nail him once for me. But he waved goodbye, saying, don't you cry, I'll be back. Again, someday, thumpity thump thump, look at Jesus go. Thumpity thump thump, thumpity thump thump, he's gonna save your soul. And then, uh, then it has something else after that, but it fades. I left out, you know, all the faded part. I just, I couldn't see it, and it was just weird. So, uh, I couldn't believe it. Uh, and then there was one other song in this batch of parchment papers. Um. And this one seemed to be intact. I mean, I didn't, couldn't tell that there was anything missing. It seemed like a really short thing. And it was the last one in the, in the batch. So maybe they ended on this one. I don't know. But I, I think I got it right. But here's how it goes. <clears throat> I think. Oh, little clown of Bethlehem, how still we see thy blight. Across the years, through untold tears, your myth is still burning bright. Yet in thy shadow standeth a truth that sets men free. Its light will shine on all mankind, rid at last of the unholy three. I mean, I could be wrong. I could have got the melody wrong, but I'm... I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I translated that right. So I call me crazy, but I think what happened was these people were way ahead of their time. 
and the Christians killed them and destroyed everything and silenced it all up and stole their songs, rewrote the words, and the rest is history. Anyway, hope that gives you something to think about, puts you in a good Christmas mood, and uh, boy, I got to get on the phone. This is a great discovery. Yeah. So, from all of us to all of you, Merry Christmas.